good morning my dear students welcome back once again in my class how are you all i hope you all are fine at your home today we are going to start revision of lesson 2 peter enters the garden let's start our story beatrix potter was born on 1866 and died on 1943 was a british children's author and illustrator she is best known for her stories such as those in the the tale of peter rabbit she was very fond of nature and was a conservationist my dear students this story is written by beatrix potter now we are going to read this story once again Once upon a time there were four little rabbits their names were Flopsy Mopsy Cotton Tail and Peter they lived with their mother underneath the root of a very big tree now my dears now my dears said old mrs rabbit one morning you may go into the fields or down the lane but don't go into Mr Magrigger's garden your father had a accident there he was put in a pie by mrs magrigger now run along and don't get into mischief i am going out then old mrs rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's she bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns here flopsy mopsy and cotton tail the name of the four little bunnies four little rabbits their names were flopsy mopsy and cotton tail and peter four little first one flopsy second one mopsy third one cotton tail and fourth one peter they lived with their mother means mrs magrigger where underneath the root of a very big tree underneath the root of a very big tree and one morning mrs magrigger said that now my dear here mrs rabbit one morning said to their four little rabbit that my dear you may go into the field or down the lane but don't go into mr magrigger's garden why why she said like that because your father had an accident there that's why you need not to go into the mr magrigger's garden He was put in a pie by Mrs. Magrigger. Now run along and don't get into mischief. Okay. Now I am going out. After that, then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of bread brown, brown bread and five currant buns. Okay. Now what happened after that? Let's look here. on your screen on page number 14 then flopsy mopsy and cotton tail who were good little rabbits rabbits who were good little bunnies or rabbit both are same here flopsy mopsy and cotton tail who were good little bunnies went down the lane to gather blackberries to gather blackberries what is blackberries here a kind of small soft black fruit that grows on bushes okay now here flopsy mopsy and cotton tail who were good little rabbits went down the lane to gather blackberries but where is peter just have a look but peter who was very naughty ran straight away to mr magrigger's garden and squeezed under the gate then first he ate some lettuce and some french beans and then he ate some radishes and then feeling rather sick 
he went to look for some parsley what is parsley here parsley means a kind of leaf used as a spice in cooking suppose like that curry patta did you know the curry patta i hope you know that now after that but round the end of a cucumber frame whom should he meet but mr macgregor mr macgregor was on his hands and knees what he was doing there mr macgregor was on his hands and knees planting young cabbages but he jumped up and ran after peter waving a rag and calling out stop thief so after that peter was most dreadfully frightened he rushed all over the garden for he had forgotten the way the path back to the gate he lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoes among the potatoes he ran on and went faster but unfortunately he ran into a gooseberry net and got caught there peter thought his end was near and shed big tears from his eyes but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrow who flew to him in great excitement and begged him to save himself mr macgregor came up with a sieve which he planned to pop upon the top of peter but peter wriggled out just in time here wriggled means out escape by twisting and turning the body out just in time he rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a cane now here my dear students when flopsy mopsy and cotton tail you know that who were good little rabbits who were good little bunnies flopsy mopsy and cotton tail no peter only flopsy mopsy and cotton tail were good little bunnies they went down the lane to gather blackberries but where is peter but peter who was very naughty ran straight away to mr macgregor garden ran straight away to mr macgregor's garden and squeezed under the gate then what he did what peter what peter did he ate some lettuce and some french beans and again he was not satisfied again then he ate some radishes and then feeling rather more hungry more sick he went to took for some parsley but around but round the end of cucumber frame who should he meet but mr mag grigor here mr mag grigor was on his hands and knees planting young cabbages but he jumped up and ran after peter after peter waving a rake and calling out stop thief now again what happened here now peter was most dreadfully frightened he rushed all over the garden and he forgotten the way he forgotten the path the way back to the gate he lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and then other shoe among the potatoes he ran on and went faster but unfortunately he ran into a gooseberry what is gooseberry here a uh, small sour fruits that grows on bushes a small sour fruit that grows on bushes this is a type of fruit it is small in size so here he ran on and went faster but unfortunately he ran into a gooseberry net and got caught there peter thought his end was near and he started to 
cry there and shed big tears from his eyes but his sobs were overhead by some friendly sparrow who flew over to him in great excitement and begged him to save himself mr magrigar came up with sieve and he planned to pop upon the top of peter but peter wriggled out just in time he rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a cane my dear student this is the first part of your revision of lesson 2 peter enters the garden and in the next video we will continue the second part and the rest part of this story one important thing i want to remind you that please do comment in the comment section for your attendance now it's your homework time your homework is filling the blanks you have to do filling the blanks i hope you also have done this in when i have given you the homework in the of previous videos your first question peter's siblings were dash dash and dash second their father ended up in a dash three peter was a dash rabbit four peter lost one shoe among dash and the other among dash fifth question while running peter get got caught in a dash where did the peter got caught now read your story once again you will get your all answers of fill in the blanks thank you so much god bless you